Many area communities uh, honored and recognized those who fought in the U.S. Armed Forces and those who did not return home. Our Josh Peterson attended the service at Greenwood Cemetery, where not just veterans were honored. Policemen, firemen, nurses, school teachers, people you know in every day. Remember, they're all heroes. Recognizing not only those who fought and did not return home, but recognizing those in your own local community who should also be considered heroes was part of the message at Greenwood Cemetery in Bemidji this morning, where a standing room only crowd attended the patriotic service. But it was the unique message that stood out at this Memorial Day observance. This is not an American Legion function. This is a community function, and we're glad to be here to represent. Post-chaplain Gabe Wakanabo shared powerful testimony of his experience while serving in Iraq, hitting an IED and being thrown from his vehicle. Gabe says that sharing his story has helped himself, as well as many others, heal. As far as the vet sharing their story, I think it's very ther uh, therapeutic. I think it's very important that they tell us their story, because once you come home, you put on regular daily clothes and no one would know the difference. Today's Memorial Day service not only focused on honoring our veterans, but also engaging our youth. Some of the content that you know veterans have gone through to share that with a young child may be inappropriate, but to be able to give them at least a perspective, a little taste of, you know, this is what goes on. The mission statement for the um, American Legion itself, uh, of course, it, it Veterans are mentioned several times in, in our mission statement, but the thing that stood out to me most recently was youth, youth building. Sharing the stories of ultimate sacrifice, remembering those who did not return, and those who have come home that struggle daily Fire. to adjust back to civilian life. Fire. Tributes to all those lost in combat and to American Legion Ralph Gracie Post 14 and auxiliary members were also honored at today's event. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.